Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone, welcome back, we're on day number 30, you may have been expecting some PVM, oh we got some Renassage cheap, that's good, still didn't sell the ones from yesterday, that is crazy at 6966, sorry I'm gonna get on my way before I talk, yeah you may have been expecting us to go back to uh, the Nagua today, I've just realised I didn't press play, okay, We've been logged in just under a minute, so if I just take it down to 59 minutes, press play, we're all good. But we're not going back to Nagua today. I do eventually get to my points. They're just very disparate, and I should be alking. No, we're not going back to Nagua today, continuing that point. We are going to try something a little different instead. I, As I've mentioned, we've sort of got our plan set. For both melee training, magic training, and gear. But what we don't have a plan for at the minute is agility. And I would like to test out the wilderness agility course some more. And um, by some more, I mean basically at all. I think we did like one or two laps on it on this account maybe before boosting. But properly testing it out for like a good session and see how much XP we can get out of it. And if that might be a, a viable way to train our agility. So that's basically what I'm going to do today, is uh, go and get a read on that. See how I feel about the whole thing. So yeah, farm run as normal. Run our weeds on the market. Didn't end up looking up the herb tables to see if there was anything else that might be worth. Probably should still do that, I completely forgot. And then we're going to be heading straight on over to the wilderness place with fuck all honours. You only get loot from it if you pay. You have to pay uh, 150k, which disappears when you leave or die. So it's per trip there to get loot for the duration of that trip. So I don't think I'm going to be paying that at all. Unless we spend the whole day there without seeing a person and then maybe the next time I go I might want to, you know, give it a try with the loot. Like if we don't see anyone all day then, you know, maybe halfway through the day I'm like, mm, maybe I'll put some money on and see if it's worth it. But you still get good XP, really good XP compared to other rooftop courses just by running the course. We can't really take Alks with us, which is a shame, but... It's a minor thing, we're doing so much hulking anyway that it will actually be nice for me to be honest, to be able to just run around without constantly worrying about my elks. And we get there with an ice plateau teleport, which is cheap as hell, so that's nice too. Like one and a half k each I think. We can bank nearby at Mage Bank, we don't need anything fancy on us, just a bit of cheap food, wines or something. I think it should be a fairly good method. I just never really generally like going into the wilderness as much as I can help it. Oh, that was a nice yield. Very nice yield. Yeah, I did go to the wilderness agility course on this account before because I remember dying with Scurry there because I didn't mean to bring him with but forgot to bank him. So it's a good job we don't have Scurry at the minute. He is currently chilling at the pet shop because honestly it's the safest place. <laughs> It's the safest place for him to be. <laughs> it's not safe with me, let's be honest. How many times has a scurry died? <laughs> Fuck me. There's 47 farming coming. Hot off the press. Daily staffs. GE. Renard. Keeping the black plate for anyone who's curious because 
it will be useful when we go for our dragon dagger. Uh, dragon defender, even. Dragon defender. And then, do we have black dehyde? We do. That's nice. That's all I wanted, basically. And a knife. I feel like that makes me pretty safe. Don't really want to bring a glory. Well, glory's not being risked, is it? Like, we'll lose the boots of right lightness, so why not? Just in case we need to escape. Some up eyes? Nah. I think you get energy back as well, so I don't really want to bring a stamina, because they're expensive. And if we can get away with not doing, then I'd rather. So let's just get ourselves a couple of ice plateau teleports. And I might need one invent space for tickets, which get you extra XP. But yeah, I'm thinking this is what it's looking like. I mean, oh, we should bank the other teleports. Oh, yeah. Because I have this. I can take that one. Right, let's give this a whirl. It is a very quiet time of day right now. You can see the sort of current play accounts online here is uh, is very low. So it seemed like a good opportunity to try this out properly for the first time. Fingers crossed we don't have any nasty horrible PKs ruining our day for an invent full of jugs of wine. Well, there's a person there. I think they're just training though. Is my aura on? Okay, I need to turn that off. Oh, there is another thing that I learned as well while researching this, is that if you don't complete every obstacle, you don't get the end of lap bonus. You have to finish the whole thing and then tag the ticket. And the more tickets that you turn in at once, the better your rate is. But it's not that much of a difference, so, you know. I'll probably be safe with them more than I am trying to... Uh, turn it a bunch at once. Okay, the other thing with the pay is that you have to bring the money with you. You can't do it from the bank, which is weird, because most wilderness things, you know, you can pay the fee from the bank. So you have to go back and make sure I correctly do this objective. I'm kind of just hoping this guy doesn't decide to attack me at any point. There's not really a great deal of opportunity for hopping with all the skeletons aggroing you. Yes, I've got PK skull prevention on. Oh, not, not being hyper-efficient, I think I actually needed this. Just for one day, not like, alking like a crazy madman while I'm doing whatever the hell I'm doing. I genuinely think I needed this. <laughs> it's pretty quick lapse at the minute. It's saying we're working with about 40k an hour and we haven't turned in any tickets yet. So, a lot, lot, lot better than Falador was saying. This is not feeling like an unreasonable way to train at all. It makes this grind a lot better to, to think about, really, because I was kind of dreading it whenever we did have to train agility, but if it's this chill... And maybe I just picked a really good time of day with how quiet it is, who knows. Did I tag that? I don't think I tagged it properly. I'm going to run back and tag it. I don't think I did. What did I do wrong? I'm so confused. Yeah, I haven't had to use any energy at all, either. I even wear a full invent of wines, which are kind of heavy, because it just restores. I don't know if it gives you 100%, but it seems to be just stopping me all the way up. This lap counter is wrong, because I've done eight laps. Why is it saved five? I gotta turn it off so it doesn't confuse me. Oh, damn, I didn't know you could fall there. Wait, did that not count as a full lap now? I'm so confused. I just did a lap. I went back and did everything again. I feel like it does negatively affect your experience pretty bad if you miss the bonus. Like, all obstacles must be passed in the correct order. Does that mean that if I repeated this one because I fell down this one, like, did I have to run around it? I didn't even know you could. Oh, there's the first level coming in, 53. Our 10th ticket. The boundary for the years is... 1 to 10 is 200 XP a ticket, 11 to 50 tickets at a time is 210 XP, so it's only an extra 5%, and then it, it goes up 5% each time from 51 to 100, and 101 above. It estimates you can get, like, 51 to 100 in, in 39 minutes, so theoretically that would be what we're working towards in the average day if we stay here for the full length. 
Although you can leave them bank with these. You don't need to turn them all in no longer. So maybe that's the better thing to do, actually, is just to bank them when you have, like, 20 or something. That's probably the best thing to do if you're not on a time-limited account. I just did the same thing again. This isn't going to give me a lot completion, is it? I guess I'll know. Oh, no, it did. Okay, now I'm just extra confused. I guess, theoretically, the damage I'm taking, I should probably be banking when I run out of food. Because we do need it. Well, the higher that level goes, the less our fail rate will be, of course. Man, the failures really do hurt the experience rates. Though I haven't turned any tickets in so far, so, you know, that probably isn't giving me a fully accurate rate either. I'm wondering if it might be just worth bringing in a couple summer pies and slapping preserve on, just to make our fail rates a little less bad. And I'm, I'm genuinely considering paying the fee because I haven't seen anyone in the 20 minutes that I've been here. Oh, well, maybe it's close to 15 minutes, but we've had the other guy who's been running around casually doing it and not presented any sign of a threat whatsoever. Like, dude's just chilling, getting his gains in. Fair play to him, I'm the same. It feels like we could just be getting a lot of free shit here, but then there's the risk involved. But if we do pay and it goes badly, then, like, we just never pay again, right? <laughs> it's 150k in the drain and it's a, a risk that's probably not too terrible to take. If we pay and it goes well and we make some money, then... Well, that pays for the next risk. You have to do like 15 laps at least to get your worth out of it though. With the more consecutive laps giving you the better average loot per lap. Capping at 61 laps without banking. Which I think would be too long. I don't think we'd get that many laps in. We're going at about one a minute on average with the fails. So we'd have to get 31 laps, which is a lot. With the time we have. Basically, if I want to do it, I have to go reset right now. If I want to do it today. Oh, I can't figure it out. <laughs> oh, this fails giving me an extra chance to think, but it's also taking time off that clock of how much value we'd get. Okay, well, the fact that I just took a bunch of hits is making it better to think about banking at least. Whether or not we risk when we come back is another matter. Just trying to get these skeletons all on the lock here so I don't accidentally click them when I'm running around. Right, we're banking. That much is clear from the uh, lack of wine. It was a good first trip though, and we got 18 tickets stored, which I think I am just going to bank. <sighs> I suppose I should. Thank you for that useless golden necklace. Why did I waste my time on that? Fuck it. I'm going to have to be a lot more vigilant, but fuck it. Oh, do we have a no- no shit. Looting bag. I should get the looting bag. If I have one. Otherwise it gives me one. But I need to make sure. Because if I have one in the bank then it won't give me one. And I need one. That did cost us some time unfortunately. But, oh well. Pretty sure, yeah, we do have one. And I'm just going to teleport straight back. Save me a little bit of time. <sighs> okay. Oh no, I didn't pay. I didn't pay. I was kind of scared because that guy was actually right next to me and I didn't really want to... Hopefully repeating this one doesn't fuck my completion. I can't imagine why it would with it being the first one. Yeah, I just wanted to put a bit of distance between me and this guy because now I feel like I'm in danger. <gasps> oh, why is he waiting there now? Maybe I should have hopped, but the fact that I was on this world for so long with no interruption made me want to stay here. Oh, I forgot it gives us food as well. It gives us unnoted food too. Okay, we got myth plate skirt and five blighted mana arrays. Alright, I'm gonna use the summer pie and the preserve. Preserve probably not the best choice, but we do have 23 minutes of it, so it's not like it's gonna drain our breath fully, even if we leave it on the entire time. Oh, I'm not gonna have room for the unnoted food now, though. I brought too much good food. Wait, why didn't that let me? I fucked some all with that lap. I don't know what. I'm going to stay as focused as I can, because I don't want to fuck up any laps, especially now that we've paid. We need to get our value out of this money. We got an Addy full helm that time, and I think it just noted our food because we didn't have room for it. It gave us an extra manta, basically noted rather than... Why, why is that not working? 
I did a full lap. Oh my gosh. It's the second time it's just told me I need to complete a full lap when I did one. I'm going to have to watch this footage back so carefully today when I'm editing and see what happened on these laps that it tells me I failed. Because I don't understand it at all. But that's like two laps that I paid for that I think I should have had. Is there like a, a failure that I'm unaware is a failure? Like you still go through it but it counts as a fail on this or something if you take damage. I need to keep an eye on that. Yeah, four successful laps. The, fir the first 15 expects you to make your money back. So if we don't get at least 15 then we've lost money guaranteed pretty much. Everyone after that is when you should start to see actual profit. Which is why it's pissing me off especially if I miss them here. I shouldn't have brought all these sharks, that was dumb of me. I forgot that it gave you, like, blighted unknown food, which is actually gonna be, like, pretty self-sustaining. So really, you just want food in case of a PK, which it is more imperative to try and get away from now. But we've got the black tea hide on, so hopefully we don't get caught by a nasty freezer. I'm gonna put my player attack on always right-click just for the minute. I don't wanna accidentally click this guy even with my skull prevention. We got a rune med that time. The blighted food alone is going to be worth a decent margin. Right, was that a fail? Because I took damage there. I can't tell if that was that or... I hope I haven't fucked myself by repeating it. Don't see any messages about failures. Time for another summer pie, I think. I think the summer pie is definitely helping our fail rates as well. We've barely failed at all since we started using it which is meaning like all this food is just sat here <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to knock off the preserve i don't wanna i want to leave myself with enough prayer that i don't get like just caught off guard okay am i supposed to do this i think i am oh there was a pk there i saw someone hop through okay we've actually seen someone he didn't stay for either of us though so maybe like people do this in actual gear because they're expecting pks and that's the people the pks prey on i don't know i can't complete this fucking lap for the life of me though but yeah for like for a, for a split second there was a scold guy up there please let this count as a completion because it's been a, such a fucked up lap thank fuck we're almost at our 15 equals profit margin at least that's the expected value. Can't say that it's exactly the same every time, obviously, with loot being what loot is. But we're not going to make very much profit out of it today because of the limited amount of time and those two failures that occurred, which I'm definitely going to go back and, like, check the footage so carefully on those. The XP's been okay, but nothing crazy. That being said, we've still got all the tickets. I banked, I think, 18 before. Probably get a similar amount today, and we haven't turned them in yet at all. But I'm just going to keep saving them up, because, like I said, there's more per ticket, and it is a negligible difference. But if I trade in 10, then I get 2,000 XP, right? If I trade in 100, by that same token, I'd get 200,000 if I was doing them 10 at a time. Whereas, if I do 100 together, that gets me an extra 30k XP. No, I can't be right. 200k XP for 100 tickets. I can't be right. No, it's 20. It's 23k, right. Gets me an extra 3k, basically. If I did 100 together rather than 10 at a time, you'd make 3k bonus XP out of the nair. So, like, saving them till I have over 100 and then turning them in is the play. Profit? Okay. We got three blighted supers. That's actually nice. It's like... Like I said, there's like five tiers of loot, depending on how many, or four tiers, four brackets. Every 15 laps is when it changes, so we're obviously not going to get past 31 to, uh, to 60, actually. It goes up from there. We're not going to get to 31 laps and get the next bonus, but we're expecting average loot of 20k a lap now, not 10k, with our entrance fee being hopefully paid off. And there's an agility level 54. So as much as I want to get, like, as much value out of the entrance fee that I paid, I feel like I probably will leave it about five minutes because I'm interested to actually take a couple minutes just to, to look at the loot that we've got and figure out how much it's worth, if we've made profit, etc. 
and that could take me a couple of minutes. So I want to make sure I leave time for that as well as a birdhouse run, basically. Just so then we'll have like a fuller idea of what we're working with and XP and loot per hour rates for future sessions. I think uh, this has been a great data gathering session. I feel like I've talked incessantly non-stop as well. So I'll see how tough it is for me to edit that. But we've gathered a lot of data today from running this course and that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to get an idea of what was going on out here, but not a day after release this time when it's packed. I wonder if this guy is paying or not. Because it's impossible to tell, right? Either way, you go tag the dispenser every time. Maybe he's just stacked up like fucking millions from being here for ages. We'd never know. Or he could just be a free player making the most out of his XP gains with no risk. Actually allows you to blend in, I guess? Like not having full armor on makes him less of a PK target. Maybe I should not wear my black dehyde, but hold it in the invent because we've got invent space anyway, you know, I've barely spent any of this food or all. Oh my gosh. He says as he eats for all his invent. So we've had like seven laps since we're in the profit, which is decent. That should have made us around 140k on top of, you know, the 150k entrance. Why does the fact that that rock just got mined scare me so much? It shouldn't at all. I might just see if I can get to 25. Might just be able to squeeze it out. This is crazy if they've actually found a way to make agility exciting, because I've been on the edge of my seat for like this entire time. Just like, ooh. <laughs> That's my internal emotion right now, that sound. It's a shame we're not going to get to 31, because it's so close, but we're just not. God damn, this lap. This has got to be the last one I keep failing like crazy. Oh no! Please! I just re as well, it should be fine. What is going on? Thank you. Please give me the completion bonus. Shitting myself every time now that it's not going to give me that bonus. Right, we're out of here. Hands hovering over the hop key. If I see at the sign of a soul. And we're safe. Okay, let's just dump all that in there. And then dump all that in there. And get to our birdhouse run before anything else. Yeah, we won't actually have much time to look at that loot, but here's what it is. We can look after we're finished and figure out how much it's worth rather than selling it today. Or get it all into our invent ready to sell tomorrow morning. You see that? It's an extra 25k in the bag. Not Varrock, the Grand Exchange! Okay, I'll just chuck these nests up. Lovely. Dump all that. Noted. There's the timer. I just want to see if anything got stacked up elsewhere from like what we previously had. Okay, so we got the agility tickets there. We got 43 of them, which isn't bad. Just make sure we didn't have any blighted stuff or other. I don't think they're from it, but we shouldn't have two of these anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that was the loot that we got. Okay, so what is that? Take that off. About 60k. I'm gonna scroll up, see if there's anything I think I'm missing. Cause that doesn't seem that good. Damn, I guess the price of blighted food dropped significantly. Cause that's, that's hella cheap for blighted food. At least compared to what it used to be. Interesting. Okay, uh, well that's not as good as we would have hoped for. Not as good as we would have hoped for, but we did still profit from it, so. Can't really complain, and we didn't go too far over. Oh no, that wasn't there either. So we only profited 30k? Surely that's not right. Yeah, all blighted food has just tanked in like the past month. Wonder if that's where a lot of the expected value is coming from. Even the super stars are only 5k each now rather than like 10k each that they used to be. Well, there you have it, folks. Perhaps the loot is not too hot. Especially if you don't go too far over that 15 limit, because we made about 35k there by going to however many laps we did. 25 straight laps made us 35k. 
and we were risking, so there's that as well. Yeah, not sure how I feel about the loot portion of things. I think if you're there for like an hour, then maybe it's worth it. An hour and above, definitely it's worth it. But for such a small amount of profit made, that was not worth it. 43 tickets though, they're worth 200 XP each. So that is going to be a nice little 8,600 agility XP when we turn it in which can add to our rate for the day, which was 25k, so around about 33, 34k is our effective rate for a day spent there with some bank time. It's okay, it's not as good as it felt like the entire time I was there, but it's not terrible. I think this is, is going to be the way I train my agility, but I'm just going to do it sporadically here and there whenever I'm logging in at a time where the worlds are as quiet as they are. Because, yeah, it was a pleasant time today. We saw one PK and he appeared for a second. But, like, the, the worlds are so quiet at the minute and if I'm playing at peak hour, there's no way I could get away with that. So it's just going to have to be a thing of if I'm playing at an unusual time or a time when it happens to be super quiet, then I might decide to go and do some agility. Otherwise, probably doing combat training. I've just realised how many mahogany locks we've got. That's a lot of money just sat there. What is that cash stack looking at? 1.7 mil. I mean, it's going up. It's certainly still going up. Do we have any other XP to look at? Not particularly. Slow day on the XP front as most of it got sidelined into agility. Yeah, well, what do you guys think about that? Like... That loot seems a bit underwhelming now that I've added it up. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but I looked through the log. It's weird that it doesn't show it in here, so I can't tell from my uh, loot tracker. But that, that doesn't seem as good as... Is the stuff still in the bag? No. <laughs> Nothing's still in the bag. You got everything, James. It's just not as good as you think it is. I don't think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, you know I appreciate it to no end, and it definitely helps promote me, and help more people discover the channel, which is super nice to see, so keep the subscribes rolling in, let's see if we can hit the big 300 soon, we are definitely on the way there. Until tomorrow though, where I'll more than likely be back onto my combat grinds, look after yourself, be lovely to one another. And I'll see you on the next one.